liquidating all small camps. They start bringing in people from our camp, and they liquidate the camp Amalia. For the first time, I heard about people talking about Amalia, that there's an Oscar Schindler, an Oscar Schindler, in this camp, nobody gets beaten, nobody's hungry, nobody's overworked. So I just couldn't understand it. But when they took people from Amalia into Plasho, and they put them on a railroad track, it was like August, and was the sun was unbearable, burning on, on the cattle cars, and he bribed Amon Gerd. Well, I came from the kitchen with them, um, first to give him soap, and open up the door to get a little air. He helped people, and I was uh, asked to do the same thing, water hoses, and we hosed down with cold water the roofs of the cattle cows. And he was screaming to the Germans, Oscar Schindler, that the Jews are all mechanics, engineers, that the Germans need them. And he guarantees that nobody will escape to open the doors for them again. So I looked at myself, I said, like, is this a, a German or is this an angel? He wore civilian clothes. I had no idea who he was. I knew only that he would receive the factory from Amalia, and he was the only one who did not throw out the Jew. His name, the factory owner, was Banks. But he not only took that factory, he took a, a lumber yard, and he built barracks, and he saved a few hundred Jews. 